Hey everyone, it's me RGB guy and welcome to my anti-aliasing series. Today we are going to learn about temporal anti-aliasing (TAA). So in our previous videos, we understood what anti-aliasing is. We also learned about SSAA, FXAA, and MSAA. Today we are going to learn about TAA. So TAA is very similar to MSAA. If you check my previous video on multi-sample anti-aliasing, you will see that MSAA works by sampling multiple points in our pixel grid. Let's say you have a triangle and you want to color this particular pixel. You will sample points inside this pixel. So all the sample points which are inside this pixels will be used to determine the color of this particular pixel. In MSA, we take multiple samples as I had already mentioned and the order of those samples and the direction of those samples, the way we sample those points can be different. So TA uses the same logic which MSAA uses, which is basically sampling multiple points to color one single pixel, but it does that over a few frames. So for example, if I want to sample four points in MSAA, you just sample four points and compute a final color of the pixel. But in TAA, let's say this is frame one, this is frame two, this is frame three, and this is frame four. So over the four frames, we would do that, right? So that is why this is called temporal because we are taking values from our previous frames as well. So this is what temporal anti-aliasing is. You use the same logic, which is there in MSA, which is sampling multiple points, but you sample them over a few frames. Now let's discuss the pros and cons of TAA. Since we are sampling only one point per pixel per frame, it is more efficient as compared to MSA because in MSA, we are sampling multiple points per frame per pixel. The only con of temporal anti-aliasing that I see is it may produce some blurry output because we are sampling from multiple frames, which are from the past. The output that we get at the end is a combination of past frames as well as the current frames. So it might lead to some blurry result. You can reduce the amount of blur that is seen in TA by reducing the number of frames on which you uh, sample the data points. If you learn something new from this video, please consider subscribing because that will motivate me to push more content. I'm going to create a lot of content related to game development, VR, AR, graphics and the visual world in general. So stay tuned for my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.